<laughs> Good Sunday morning from Carrizozo, New Mexico in the high desert. Beautiful morning here, 53 degrees, cool outside. It's 58 inside my motorhome here this morning. <clears throat> Had to run the heater just a minute till I got my clothes on. Pretty cool here, guys. Going to be in the probably middle 70s to low 80s today. I'm not sure. Depends on whether we get any rain around or not. This is the monsoon season. But we only get about 11 inches a year of rain, so that's not too bad. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. Did you hear about the snowman that got upset when the sun came out? He had a total meltdown. Y'all can write these down if you want to. Anyway, I want to give a shout out to, well, we called him Jackie, but he calls himself Jack now. He, he went to Kennedy High School. He was about a year or two behind me at the big high school. And uh, yeah, he lived out on a farm a little farther out from town than I did, actually. And uh, yeah, he knows about plowing and driving a combine and all that stuff. But anyway, he called yesterday. We talked for a while and it's good to hear from him. Thumbs up. Enjoy your day, Jack. In Houston, Texas, he's got two boys in Houston and life is good, he says. So yeah, but anyway, yeah, we've still got a few alive out of our uh, classes at, in Kennedy, you know. But anyway, what else? Uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now. And right now went whew, right on by. It's This is September the 1st. We're starting a new month. And also, never worry about what you cannot change. How about that one? Yeah, all this crap going on on TV and different things. If you can't do anything about it, why worry about it? <clears throat> you know what I mean? Or why even talk about it? But anyway, what else? Uh, let me think. Uh, today, oh, for your viewing pleasure today, you're going to get a really interesting video. I did a video, a driving video, and I was so aggravated <laughs> that I posted it. It has a little clicking noise in it, and it was coming from the the holder. That's the new holder I got for my phone, my dash mount. I'm telling you, and, and I, I couldn't hear it. I could not hear it. But anyway, enough said. This person's name is Sandwiches on the tiny home Home Depot. I couldn't, I couldn't do literally any of the construction. Well, uh, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Ralph P on the weed eater, the, the, the stringless weed eater. Those little electric units are nice, believe it or not. I'm still using a 38-year-old steel weed eater. Thanks for sharing, Rusty. Well, good. I'm glad you got that old wore-out heat weed, weed eater. Uh, hammer, wow, Hammer and Nails. That's a person's name all without any spaces on the tiny home. Don't know about using it as a home, but it would be a sweet hunting cabin. Well, they don't care what you use it for. Just buy it. <clears throat> On the, the stringless weed eaters, RV living with the geezer makes yard work much easier. No messing with mixing two cycle oil and hard to start equipment. Good purchase, Rusty. Yeah, I, I much prefer rechargeable items over those little gasoline engines because you're right, they, sometimes they are hard to start. Wayne Guy, uh, this is Tiny Home, uh, talking about t today and something economics. Uh, James Jackson, nice to know. You're very welcome. He says he's here. Well, I'm hope I'm glad you're here and not there. Bob Steen or Stein, a weed whacker. What's next? A lawnmower and a leaf blower? No, I, I don't need any of that. But thank you for thinking of me, Bob. Scotty Thompson, nice orange shirt. Cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty. He also says cool video talk. Thank you, Scotty, the masked bowler from Wisconsin. J. Joy, seven, I love battery-powered tools. Be careful when you're using that dandy weeder. Yeah, yeah, those blades, uh, yeah, it's got uh, plastic blades and a couple of steel blades. And it's also got a saw blade. You can saw tree limbs. Not big ones, but little ones. T-I-M-G says, I have one like this also. Use the round saw blade all the time. See there, there you go. And what else we got here? This is user. That green gizmo on the side might be where you attach your garden hose to clean it. My zero turn has one. 
Okay, it could be. I I I, uh, I didn't see it in the instructions. Of course, I didn't look real close, but yeah, thank you. Dogman Chronicles, check his channel out. Enjoyed the sanity session. That was on Beer 30. Saturday, oh, he watched it Saturday afternoon. And he says, nice, inexpensive unit. Thanks, Rusty. That was on the portable power uh, thing. Yeah, th those things come in handy if you live in an area where you lose power occasionally. You know, if you're in areas where there's hurricanes and, you know, where you lose power. Or if you're a boondocker where you go camping and you have no power, tent camping, etc. Yeah, those little portable power units are quite handy. I've got uh, 3,400 watts now. I've got one 2,400 watt and one 1,000 watt. Or it may be 1,500, I'm not sure. Ziggle fingers, have you thought about a goat? Uh, yeah, I think about it all the time. There's one right here. <clears throat> There's a goat for you. That is a one-eared goat, stinking goat. If you've ever had goats, you know what I mean. Goats, particularly the the, the males, stink. I mean, they do. They, they, they do. No, I haven't thought about having a goat here, no, because I'd have to fence it. And you can't hardly fence a goat's in. I'll tell you that, too. I mean, they'll go under, over, through, whatever, you know. They're hard to fence in, man. Eddie Vanismalk uh, says, I'm torn between the ease of an all-in-one power station and and the more or less dollars I'd get from a do-it-yourself lithium power system built into my van. Wonder what's the resale value of these power stations. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't uh, plan to resell it, to tell you the truth. You just do what you think's right, and if it ain't right, you'll find out real quick. Sandra Howington, I have one, and it works great. That's on the weed eater. The battery will last as long as you want. I'm 77. Yeah, it, it lasts long enough for me. It, 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 I, I uh, weed eated for about 30 or 40 minutes and still had battery left. So, yeah, it worked. And, I mean, I've got some, I, I don't have grass out here. I've got weeds, and, I mean, some of the weeds are like, little trees <clears throat> vincent speed shop awesome brother what rusty thank you this is long way around on the weed eater i'm going to get one of those never heard of this type before thanks rusty well a lot of people don't know it that there are weed eaters out there that don't have string you know and that string becomes a hassle or a headache whatever in that uh, you run out at the strangest time Two, you may not be able to find the exact size string that your unit has, and then you got to get it in the th spool. You got to put it on the spool. Anyway, enough said. This thing right here, you don't have any of that. <clears throat> Follow Jesus. I saw where you, I saw where you are to soak that line in water at least thirty minutes, keeps it from turning, keeps it from running out quickly. Some it says on the box. Whatever, you know, I don't know anything about that. Same person, nice, Rusty. Thank you. The weed eater is a bit heavy and hard to start. I'll check this out. Thanks again. Love that it is quiet. Yippee. No, it's it a, a motor-operated weed eater. Uh, I, I don't even know why people have them anymore. <clears throat> we, I, think, I think the main reason is they are more powerful. Now, you can get some pretty powerful uh, rechargeable units, but uh, you could get p more powerful units, gasoline. Eddie Van is moffed, I guess. Oh, no string to snap off and sting your ankle. No, there's none of that. You got a metal blade to cut your ankle if you're not careful. Uh, Outcast one, Matilda had a better breakfast this morning than I did, LOL. Yeah, I, w you know, I thought about getting me a waffle maker because I like waffles, you know, I, but... Uh, you know, my breakfast that I have now is so healthy or good for me that uh, I don't want to change it. <clears throat> Kenneth Bode, be careful, ankle splitter. Not really. You'd have to really screw. I don't know. What, you'd have to be, never mind. You'd have to be the type of person that puts a plastic bag on your head. <clears throat> William Steinbacher, Rusty, that is for edging those side wheels. Yeah, they are. They're, uh, they're actually not wheels. They're uh, little things they look like a uh, snow thing you know never mind i can't think of they're skids yeah anyway d williams curious is the walmart in ruidoso closer to you or is the walmart in alamogordo 
Well, Ruidoso is to the Walmart is about 35 miles approximately, and Alamogordo is 55 miles. But if you drove, I mean, driving time is about the same because to get to the Alamogordo, or excuse me, Ruidoso Walmart, you got to go winding up through the mountains, you know, and uh, go through a couple of little towns. But if you go to Alamog if I go to Alamogordo from here, it's just a straight shot. There's one town on the way, Tularosa, about 12 miles from Alamogordo. And then you can take the loop around Alamogordo to the uh, Walmart. So it's about the same driving time. In fact, I may start going to the Alamogordo Walmart for that reason. Yeah, because I only go to, I only need to do major shopping. Well, the, the items that save money for me really save in this over what I would have to pay in this area is beer, wine, yogurt. Chia seeds, uh, flax seed powder and stuff, you know, the uh, the off-the-shelf stuff, and also gasoline. I can save al almost enough per gallon on gasoline driving to Alamogordo to pay for the whole trip. You know what I mean? But again, Texas Peg P. Rusty, I think the million-dollar high school you were thinking of is Plano. Lots of rich folks there, for sure. No, this is a new one, and, and somebody gave me the name of it, but... Uh, I don't remember it now. I wonder why I don't remember it. Eileen Tool. In Florida, we have one week that's tax-free to get prepared for hurricane supplies. Might buy one. Lots safer than gas power generator. Yeah, you don't have to have any gasoline. You know, uh, the same person, uh, Eileen Tool says, by the way, indirectly, you're the reason I needed a nap while Beer 30 was happening. I've been taking Claritin for many years in the morning. You mentioned the side effects. I Googled the side effects and it said you, it said it could make you tired. So I decided to take it at night instead of in the morning. Big mistake, kept me awake except for maybe two hours. Uh, anyway, she had company from Tennessee and spent uh, most of the day shopping. Beer 30, by the time Beer 30 was on, I was I needed a nap. Yeah, well, whatever, you know that, but you know, I don't take any of that uh, allergy stuff anymore. I, I got off of it. I did it for a few days and, uh, and, and, and I told myself, if you don't need it, don't do it. And so I stopped it. I mean, you know, I, I don't do it anymore. Mm -mm. Uh, Jimmy and Kathy Harrell. Hey, from Mississippi, South Mississippi. Well, Hey, from New Zozo, New Mexico. Yeah. They call Kara Zozo, Zozo. We'll do a few more here. Barb something. Those portable batteries are a little pricey, but what a convenience when you need one, as I did after Hurricane Barrel. So much easier than dealing with the hassles of a gas generator. Best money I ever spent. Yeah, you know, that's the whole thing about those uh, battery packs or portable generators, they call them, uh, or portable power. Is you know you get a couple of those 2,400 watt units, you know you're good for a few days running small items. You know what I mean? Charging phones, running TV. Uh, you know, you could probably power your refrigerator for a day, maybe, because it's only on 50% of the time, maybe two days. But if you got a large enough one, you might get several days. Uh, we'll do two more here. Linda M.W., great intro. I got the 2,000-watt Jackery with two 200-watt tw tw solar panels. It was one half off. Love it. We now have a toaster with us. Not not necessary, but I enjoy having it. We love the Jackery is quiet and doesn't disturb us or anyone camping nearby. You know, that, that's the that's the beauty. And you don't have to take gasoline. You know, I don't I just don't like to haul gasoline in a vehicle or my RV other than the gasoline that's in the gas tank. And uh, yeah, but see, on, on in this motorhome, I've got a built in 4000 watt generator that runs off the fuel tank. You know, so I can always use that. So we'll do one more here and we'll shut her down. Uh, well, we'll do two more and we'll shut her down. Tyler says, happy Saturday. Well, happy Sunday to you. Levi Brewer says, good morning, everyone, from my outlaw mountain camp, putting another coat on the roof, then going underneath to do more bracing. My siding for the cabin will be delivered next Wednesday. Well, good for you, Levi. Get that booger finished. <laughs> anyway, what else can I tell you? Uh, thumbs up, guys. Hang on here.
Thumbs up, carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. That's the carpe diem clock. That is Romeo, the dog, the goat, and Matilda, the trash can. And those of you that have watched my channel for a while know why she's there. Waltz and Matilda. But anyway, what else? Uh, thumbs up, carpe diem. Adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the Amazon link in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Yeah, just click on the link, go to Amazon, and get whatever you were going to get. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very good for you. Help you avoid gout and kidney stones, all that stuff. And then what else? Uh, uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deep. Breathe out slowly. That relieves stress. And it lowers your blood pressure. You don't need any blood blood pressure meds anymore. You're done. And then what else? Stretch. Swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier. Yeah, for that reason. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your brain. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one moment, one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the next video. You're going to, yeah, it has a clicking noise. Anyway, adios, amigos, bye-bye.